So today was uh, a little bit of a action day during the pre-market hours. We had a bunch of movers in the pre-market, but then not much follow through. Because it was the last day of the quarter, uh, Mnuchin and uh, Nancy Pelosi were trying to strike a deal when it comes to the second round of stimulus. But there was a lot of people in the sidelines watching from afar. And also, although probably it doesn't have anything to do directly to the market, but uh, we saw... Um, this other guy with the FD, FBI that was actually testifying today with the Senate. And there was a little bit of a stuff after also the presidential debate last night. And there was a little bit of chaos and the market was a little choppy today. Not as much follow through as I wanted. But today, yeah, I just want to show you here a bear flag pattern that I took. Although I actually took a trade on SPWR here that was actually pretty decent. Um coming here from the double top formation using a pivot point for the $13.34 higher day and a pretty decent range to see this round top formation here but this is not the reason why I'm here if in any change you want to uh, maybe watch uh, that video uh, that video is actually located with the explanation and uh, details inside of the uh, private group on the exclusive and again private uh, trading channel and trading chat room in tradescolony.com once a week we send out a watch list every single sunday you can probably receive it on your email if you make a free account over tradescolony.com if not well i appreciate you watching the video anyway so we see a little bit of consolidation under the 50 simple moving average in the one minute time frame here and the consolidation under the 100 simple moving average very unfortunate i didn't see this happening but again i was dealing with spwr which turned out to be a pretty decent trade and here i just want to show you how to use this as an entry now being that this round formation here round top formation was almost done you can see this little bit of a, a cluster area here with a little bit of congestion on these areas. And we were really, really close to the fifteen fifty half dollar support here. And there's all the pocket inside of uh, fifteen fifty and 1517. Again, a congestion area here, uh, one, two, and three pivot points right here at the half dollar support using that round top formation coming really close to 1559 low right here it was a little bit extended already so it didn't really give me as much range as i wanted to as compared to sbwr but i want to show you here this downtrend and how it started to come down slow down and start to consolidate giving us a little bit of a, a sideway price action here on a channel a little bit again flagging here with the low of 1571 but i was looking at the low of 1573 okay that's when i slapped it and i was looking for follow through move to the half dollar to test and have a retest of that 1550 area i was looking to get out of 1555 1553 prior to hitting that half dollar spot but at the same time, the market was selling off because there was some news that came out in the afternoon that Mnuchin and Pelosi didn't really strike a deal for the stimulus. They were going to keep on having the talks to see uh, what they're going to do because they are trying to compromise and they're going to have a second boat and they're trying to push the, the Congress is trying to push the boat right so they they continued talks but today they didn't strike the deal and this made the price of the stock fall and the overall market started to fall off close to four o'clock which is a closing bell so as i we started approaching the closing bell we saw prices fall off and 
I was expecting this to have a follow through move. Again, it didn't really give me as much as I wanted to, but when you see this downtrend, not to chase on a name, for example, what we look for is spots where we have pullbacks, right? So on a downtrend here, you will try to find a spot where we have a little bit of consolidation. If you look at the five minute time frame here, on this top here, we have a little bit of consolidation here. So what we look for is this slow down on the trend and a break under the price, or if it was a long trade, a consolidation pullback, a little bit of a retracement going down, and then a price move right back up to the top and break to have a breakout towards the top right and here the same thing for a short a little bit of a slowdown looking for a bounce and a little bit of consolidation breaking under the prior low to follow through to the downside this is what we had here coming from this top right here that you can see at 15 dollars and 98 cents very very close to 16 dollar hold out area spot coming down here 1573 slow down right there and follow through breaking under this a little bit of a slowdown which is a flag is a slow down on a trend prior to continuation on the ter overall trend of the direction of the overall trend so again a flag is a slowdown of a trend before it actually keeps running towards the direction of the overall trend and this is what we look for a little bit of consolidation is a kind of like a pressure cooker pot type of thing where it starts to have a lot of pressure inside and then when it breaks boom it just pops in the direction of the overall uh, move and this is what we look for a little bit of a uh, slowdown and a consolidation that you can read based on the tops and bottoms of those consolidations to see where you're gonna put your stop and the break of those consolidations will be the entry. In this case, I was looking for uh, $15.73 break and I was looking for a test of that $15.50. It got to $15.59, the low of the five minute candle right here. We already printed a hammer anyway on the five and it came right back up. It didn't give me as much as I wanted to. But again, you can see this clean flag formed break and go to the downside. Just wanted to show you that and I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next time.